Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, a little drum fill of the week for you. It's been a little while since I did one of these, so I thought it was time. Uh, this week's one will go like this. And uh, as usual, this one's just a bit of silly fun, but this really drills into actually a really uh, like central and lovely concept that I love. If, if any, anyone watching this uh, has sessions with me, face-to-face -face sessions or, or Zoom lessons, you'll know that something I'm a huge fan of in terms of creating drum fills, when drum students come in and they say that thing that drum students say, which is, I'm struggling to create drum fills, I find it hard to create drum fills, I play the same five to 10 drum fills, like, questions like that, or they say things like that. This is a thing I'm a massive fan of, just to get the juices flowing in terms of creativity. And that is just take it back to an unbelievably basic and simple structure, which is to take a solid note value. So in this case, 16th notes, semiquavers, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, or the word cappuccino, four times, cappuccino, 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 and to play with a single stroke roll sticking. So it's the simplest thing in the world, right? It starts life as this. Typically what we then do is we start to move around the kit in like a grade one type of style, right? And again, all we're doing here is just getting off the ground. So, uh, so snare drum, high tom, mid tom, floor tom, just for the sake of like orchestrating it around the drum kit somehow. Right? Then the fun really starts, and this is what I'm a huge fan of. This is when you start to noodle, right? So you take that thing, which is just single stroke roll, 16th in this case, could be whatever note value, but 16th here, and you just start to move around the kit. And for anyone who says like, oh, I find it hard to think of drum fills, what we realize here is actually there's an infinite number of drum fills like already there, aren't there? Because you can move around the kit any way you like. Like I often say on these videos, essentially we're playing an unpitched instrument here. So you can't play a bum note. You can go too fast or too slow. You can play too many notes or not enough. But assuming that you go ba 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 one stick than the other, starting with the hand that is the hand that you're handed with, like as in if you're right-handed, start with the right hand. If you're left-handed, start with the left. Then you can't really go too far wrong. You might there might be certain ways of going around the kit that you like the sound of more than others. So that's a big part of this, and uh, make a point of saying this as much as possible. Like, just sit and noodle, play a bar of drum groove, bar of drum fill, and just play those 16 hits around the kit any way you like. You get it? And again, the point is you can't really go too far wrong. And this is huge. Like I think so many drummers that I work with, like often people don't really think of this, but this is what musicians do. They sit with a, a, a concept, in this case, a crazy basic concept, and just noodle with it. And this drum fill, going back to the drum fill of the week here, this drum fill that I um, came up with, which was just jamming around in a session yesterday, I just found myself doing it a couple of times, and I really, really liked it. So it's exactly that format, 16th notes all the way through the bar. It's a single stroke roll, starting with your right stick. So essentially... And all we're going to do here is move from the snare drum to cymbals at various points. So if we're counting one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, on beat one, we go one, one E and a. So right, left, right, left, but right stick on the and goes to the crash. I'm going to put the bass drum here with the crashes, and that, I think that puts this around the sort of grade three-ish level, some, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, if you are finding that tricky when you first do this, just do the crashes without the kick. You can always build them up, add them in later. That's fine. It'll work without the kicks. I like the sound of the kicks reinforcing the crash, but you don't have to do that at first. So one E and a. On beat two, we go two. So in that case, it's the left stick going up to the crash. Again, all the way through, it's single stroke roll, right, left, right, left. So the first half. Let's rehearse that. Three and four and. Three and four. This is the first half of the bar. 
and four and... Okay, on beat three, we're playing one E and a. Uh. Sorry, we're not. We're playing three E and a, uh, even, of course, with the right stick uh, on the three going to the crash and the a, uh, which is your left stick, if you're right-handed, of course, if, assuming that you're going right stick first here, left stick up to the crash. So beat three. One and two and... Remember, this is all following the sequence of single stroke roll, starting with your lead hand, 16th notes. On beat four, finally, four E and a. Uh. That's a right stick on and going up to the crash. I should say it doesn't matter what, like which symbols you hit. Hit the hi hat, hit the ride, hit whatever symbol you like. Hit a splash, hit a stack. I don't care, man. It's all about just getting up to a, a piece of metal somewhere. So uh, first half recap: three and four and three and four and. Second half recap, one and two and and two and one and two and and two second half and two and obviously go whatever speed you need, man, take your time. Let's put the whole thing together now. Three and four. Play a bar of groove. And four and. And three and four, here it comes. Let's pick it up a little bit. can't stress enough this is just a random example that I came up with just by using that very basic principle single stroke roll 16th notes playing an on an unpitched instrument or set of instruments orchestrate it around the kit I just thought that was fun I like the feel of it I like the way it didn't start with a crash on beat one uh, I don't know why that just caught my ear so well that was kind of cool it put me in mind of like a Keith Moon type of sound uh, somehow that was that just a just a bit of fun today man short and sweet but uh, that concept i think is absolutely rock solid feel free to do as much noodling around with that as you like and what that uh, taps into i think which i've learned so much over the years is that we're all just capable of so much more stuff than we think you know than we give ourselves credit for but when we sit there saying oh, i can't think of any drum fills there's so much stuff just sitting there ready to be used man single stroke roll 16th notes just orchestrating around the kit you can't hit a wrong note again you go you can go too fast you can go too slow you can play too many or too few but you can't be dead wrong tonally like you can on a you know piano or a guitar. So I hope that all makes a bit of sense. Thanks for watching as always. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks to all the people who've uh, supported this channel. I appreciate it so much. Buy, 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 my, buy me a coffee support page. You can buy me a coffee there. Uh, link in the description below. Uh, or you can become a monthly member. Thanks so much to all the amazing monthly members who are now signing up. Uh, as a £10 a month monthly member, you're supporting this channel and helping it grow, allowing me to spend more and more time uh, on these videos and produce the things you want to see. You also get a complimentary a 30 minute Zoom session uh, or face to face session if you want to come to my studio in Cambridgeshire. You also get a practice plan like tailored to your needs and your goals. I'll write you out your daily practice plan item by item so you know exactly what to do. Uh, you also get priority requests on videos that come up on this on the main channel here. You also get a weekly members video. Uh, you also get uh, support from me, man. So email me your questions. I'll email you back as soon as I can. Video responses. If your question requires a, like, warrants a video response, a demonstration, I'll record you a video and send it back and, uh, and more stuff like that. Plus, like I say, you'll be helping this channel and supporting it to grow. Thanks so much to all the people who do that. Appreciate it. Uh, no end. And uh, it's incredible to see new people signing up all the time and to see this thing grow and grow is incredibly exciting uh, as it goes along. Thanks a million. If you have any questions about that or anything else, give us a shout. Please like, share and subscribe. And um, single stroke roll, man. Around the kit, 16th notes. Orchestrate it any way you like. That was just one example. Thanks a million. See you soon.